Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy. I'm back with another video today. And honestly, guys, I am super, super stoked for this one. We are going to be trying the brand new Mario Kart mobile game that just came out earlier today. And uh, I'm honestly not too sure what to expect because I haven't touched it yet, but I love Mario Kart. I love mobile games. So this thing should be right up my alley, right? But obviously, depending on how they made it, things could go really well or really bad and that's why we're going to be doing this first impression video probably playing the first i'll say 20 to 25 minutes see how things go and uh, give you guys my opinions at the end so without further ado guys let's jump in it looks like we are ready to tear up that track so let's see okay welcome to mario kart tour first things first let's fire off the pipe and get a driver oh interesting so it looks like we're actually going to be summoning for a driver so someone did tell me that this is kind of like a Mario Kart gacha game and I wasn't really sure uh, whether I believe them or not, but yo, props to you, man. I think it was a guy that was on my Link's Awakening stream last night. He was like, yo, it's a Mario Kart gacha game. I'm like, are you sure, man? Doesn't really sound like it would really work, but here we are, man, about to summon for a cart. So let's see what we get. Oh. Okay, so we got Toadette. Not really sure if, uh, I think the audio might be a little bit loud. Let me turn it off down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down like two notches. Okay, or three, just be safe. Um, I'm not really sure if like everybody gets that or is it just like, is it random from a pool of drivers? I don't know, but okay, we got Toadette. I'm cool with that, I'm cool with that. Okay, let's jump right into practicing controlling. Uh, learn the basic controls. Control, choose a control method, simple or drift. So we can choose between sliding our finger left or right to steer. This style might be easier for new players or uh, drift is slide your finger left or right to drift. This style is for those who want to fine tune their steering. Okay, so I've played a lot of Mario Kart in my day, but at the same time, um, I've never played it on a phone. So maybe for our first experience, for our first time playing, we'll go with simple. And I'm sure we can switch it uh, later on if I don't like it. Okay, so slide left or right to steer and up or down to use items. Simple enough. Can we get the boost? Oh, we do get the boost, nice. Okay, awesome. So move left and right with uh, your finger, all right. Pretty simple here, let's go through these rings real quick. Nice. All right, so um, it feels a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little bit, uh, what's the word, loose, I guess, a little bit uh, slippery. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word for it, but Oh, we just missed ring. Okay, cool. Um, so I definitely see this taking a minute to get used to, you know what I mean? But it, it's not too bad. And also, uh, graphics are good. Music is, I'm sure you guys can hear it, hopefully, um, is very much Mario Kart. So I like what I see so far. I do like what I see so far. Now, one issue, um, I mean, not really an issue for me right now, but I did take a look at the rating for this game on the Google Play Store. Uh, prior to starting this video and it has a pretty bad rating there right now man it's currently has a 3.6 out of what was it 3.6 out of 5 right and that's pretty bad so I'm not really sure what that was all about I'm not sure if like why people are upset about this game or is it just a bunch of trolls or is there a legitimate issue with the game right now I'm not really sure so far I don't really see any issues uh, maybe the controls people have issues with but I feel like if you just play this game for a little while, maybe 30 minutes, an hour, you'll get used to it. So, and obviously I haven't tried the drift method yet, so maybe that's even better, possibly. Oh, we just wasted a shell, my bad. Oh, I got a bomb too, how do I throw backwards? Uh oh, this is, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, frenzy, collect three to start a frenzy. What does that mean, collect three, what? Is it like, collect three of the same item? Yeah, so we just got unlimited green shells. Not really sure how we got that, but we started a frenzy mode somehow. And we got first place as well, which is, I mean, it's the tutorial, so I'm not too surprised there. Way to go. This calls for a celebration. And what better way to celebrate than firing something out of the pipe? Okay, so we get to summon again. Can we get something other than Toadette? Anything else that's not Toadette? I will take. We got Peach, nice. Okay, heart. This heart is overflowing with kindness. It will protect you from opponent attacks. Uh, dope. I don't really know which which racers are good, which are bad right now. So I just go with the characters I like. I like Peach. I'm okay with Toadette. So 
Um, that's fine with me, man. We got Peach and Toadette so far. And we are starting now. Uh, New York tour now open. You know, it would be really cool actually with this game. Um, I don't really see myself like preferring this game over the Switch uh, Mario Kart 8 but at the same time not everybody has a Switch right so if there's like a, some kind of online multiplayer mode here we can start a room and race with other people I could conceivably do some like streams in the future on Twitch and YouTube where uh, people just like join my room and we race together right I think that'd be a lot of fun hopefully there is online multiplayer mode we'll have to see each tour lasts for two weeks but don't wait to join the race get in there and show them what you're made of okay so we're going to jump into our first race here, guys. New York Minute. Uh, choose your driver, cart, and glider carefully. If you use them on a favored course, you'll get an advantage during the race. Uh, let's see. Frenzy, get three items per box. Get two items per item box. Get one item per item box. Oh! So it looks like, depending on which characters you have, um, you'll get, like more items per box uh when you use that racer on certain races so it looks like we, we have you know we don't have any of the extra boost ones so let's go with our girl uh peach here and it doesn't look like we have many options for gliders or carts so we'll go with this we we'll change the cc here unlock at player level two okay okay so we're starting with 50 cc should be pretty chill oh it jose on other are those real people? Like, are we, are we racing against people in real time right now? Because the, the, the names, right, they, they look like actual people. I'm guessing it's not actually live. It's probably just like they're using their avatars or their accounts, but it's actually AI controlling it. That's most likely what's going on here. I can't say for sure, obviously, but uh, that, that would make the most sense to me. That would definitely make the most sense to me. Okay, let's use our boost here. Uh, yeah, we are in first place at the moment. Now, I'm pretty confident in my Mario Kart skills, but I'm not, like, amazing. So, if I finish first, first try, I'm gonna say we are playing against computers. Because I'm still not used to these controls. As you can see, man, I'm, like, bumping into things everywhere. Oh, my God. And nobody's catching up. Nobody's catching up. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say we're playing against AI right now. I love this music, dude. I love the music. All right, lap number two. Um, hopefully, you guys can hear the music. I, I I still need to adjust the levels, I think, for future videos. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like too loud, but not too quiet either. Hopefully, I got that balance right here. Okay, so we're still in first place. Oh, red shell. Thanks, thanks, Toad. <laughs> And, oh, there's only two laps. As you can see at the bottom right here, or bottom left, uh, shows the number of laps, how many coins you've collected. And uh, on the top left is the map, or the, or the track, rather. And uh, there's also a point system uh, on the top right there. Uh, I'm not really sure what the points are for. I'm guessing we can use the coins to buy stuff later on. Okay, so we ended up with 3,645 points. We finished first. Um, got a couple, a couple Uncle Bills, uh, or Uncle Bills, Bullet Bills. Why did I say Uncle Bills? I think Uncle Bills is the brand of a ginseng company. That was weird. But uh, we got a couple of Bullet Bills flying in in the back. Uh, we leveled up. We're level two now. Increase the amount of position points received after races. Position points. Also points based on what you finish as. Okay. And we unlocked 100 CC races. Very nice. Definitely gonna switch to that immediately. That was way too slow. Uh, look at that, Flavy Tropical One Yu Yuhua. We got uh, I'm not sure if that's I think that's Japanese. Um, I think the guy named Man Jose Andre. So it looks like real people, right? But I'm pretty sure it's not. They're not actually playing live with you. Uh, we got some level ups there. Cool. Um, let's see. We got five stars. Point bonus. Grand star times five. Collect these through to keep moving through tours. Sounds good. You get grand stars based on how many points you've earned, so keep your eye on the prize and aim for a high score. Solid, solid. We got nine coins. Um. Okay, so we unlocked the second race of the cup now, Cheap Cheap Lagoon. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. We're going to keep going with our girl Toad here. Um, and hopefully we'll get to summon for some other stuff as well, because, uh, you know, I, lo I love Peach, but I can only use her 
so many times before I get bored, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is the 3DS Cheap Cheap Lagoon track. Uh, it looks very good, guys. The graphics for a mobile game, I gotta say, very, very impressive. Music is on point, as always. Uh, so I still haven't found exactly what people's you know, problem with the game is so far, because it did get pretty bad ratings. Um, but, you know, it, it could just be trolls at the end of the day, right? Let's take a look at the menus and everything and see what the... See what the, the pricing structure is like, because as, as you guys know, um, with all these like summoning games or gotcha style games, there's definitely a pay to win component to it. And maybe they did something really dumb with the packs or something like that, so we'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. I'm not even really sure how I'm drifting, to be honest. Um, do I like click and hold to, and, and then turn really sharply to, to drift here, or is it random? Like. <laughs> Like, I drifted a couple times already. I, I have no idea how I actually got that to go off, though. Okay, 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 where- Oh my god, I just bombed myself. Nice. <laughs> okay, 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 this is making me look bad. Come on, we gotta finish at least- At least in the top three. Okay, let's go chase- Is it Toad ahead of me right now? Toad and Bowser? Let's go chase Toad and Bowser here, guys. We got this. Alright, alright, alright. Still getting used to the controls. That's my excuse right now. Still very much getting used to the controls here. Can we hit them? Oh no, but Bowser did, I think, hit a bomb, so... We're getting close. We're getting close. Come on. Oh, we can do a 180 too. Oh, cool. Okay, so you can, you can click that 180 button at the back. And, uh... I think that's how you actually throw items behind you as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, what, I'm catching you. I'm catching. You. Oh, oh, here we go. Red shell. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Oh my God, it's so close. No. No. Oh my God. Oh my. Okay, okay. At least let me finish second. Yeah, we finished second. We're good. Yo, Bowser literally bumped me into second place. <laughs> okay. I mean, this game still retains a lot of the fun of Mario Kart. Um. I still don't think we're playing as real people, even though I came in second. Uh, that's just me, man. I, I, I didn't play it too well. But um, yeah, I think over time, as I get more used to controls, we'll be good to go. I still need to figure out how to like get this drifting thing down. Or maybe I gotta switch up the controls. Maybe, maybe for the last race, I'll switch up the controls. Uh, okay, the race number three, Mario Circuit 1. I'm gonna keep going with Peach. I mean, I, I like Toadette, but come on. It, I like Peach a lot more, <laughs> let's be real. Got some more people, Muselix, Giula. All right, man, I am looking forward to some online races with you guys. Hopefully, there's an online feature. I, mean, I can see it from both sides. Like, I can see it if like, maybe Nintendo doesn't want people to be able to race their friends online with a free mobile game because they want them to still get like, buy the, you know, full uh, Mario Kart 8 on Switch or whatever the next version they release is. Uh, I guess Mario Kart 9 would be the next one. Um, so maybe they won't allow online races, but... I really hope they do, man. That, that'd be a lot of fun. Because I could I could totally do a Mario Kart stream on Switch, but... I know a lot of you guys don't have Switches, so... It's not going to be fun for some of you just to, like, to watch and never have a chance to race, right? Okay. Let's see. I keep getting coins, which is fine, but... I wouldn't mind some other items. I guess I don't need any other items right now when you're in first place. There's not really much you can make use of in first place. They're not not—they're never going to give you like a bullet bill when you're in first place or anything like that. I believe I called him Uncle Bill. Okay, we're getting coins. That, that's fine. That's fine. Let's collect some more coins here. And wow, we finished. We, we, wow, we beat that handily. All right. So big difference from the second race. Um, nobody came even close that time. Damn. Okay. All right. That's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. So there's only one more race, and then we should finish the cup, and then we'll go check out some other stuff. All right. Grand Star Five. So we have 15 Grand Stars now. Got 22 coins, and this is the last race, I believe. Oh, it's different. Ready, set, rocket start. Bonus challengers. Ready, set, rocket start. Try to clear the ch uh, challenge using the chosen driver cart and glider combo. Pull off a rocket start. So literally all we have to do is get the boost in the beginning. Is that it? Tap and hold from, from 2 to go for a rocket start. 
Okay. Well, that's it. Can't even steer. Okay. We did. Okay, that was basically a tutorial. It's a it's like a tutorial disguised as a challenge. <laughs> cool. Okay, we got full points. Feels good. I'm guessing the other challenges later on are gonna get more difficult. At least, I hope, at least. Um, you finish the cup, you can replay races to try and beat your own scores. Okay. And then we unlock the Donkey Kong Cup, it looks like. Uh, good work clearing your first cup. Have some rubies to celebrate. Rubies. You can use these to fire off the pipe or play Coin Rush. Oh! So you use the rubies to summon. You can get things like drivers and cards from the pipe. Say, why don't you use some rubies to fire something out of it? Okay. Guess I'll do that. Okay, Paul. Oh, Pauline. Oh, I like me some Pauline. I like me some Pauline. So we can get Pauline. It looks like she's the featured spotlight unit or driver, I guess. So uh, we're going to do a single here. So one single costs um, five rubies. And I think the multi was actually discounted. I think it was 45 for 10 summons. We'll have to see the prices for these rubies in a second. Uh, Cooper Dasher. Okay, we got a new cart. I guess I'll take it. Okay. Um, keep on racing and soon you'll conquer every cup. And we got a login bonus too. Okay, so yeah, this is... Very much a gacha game. It's a very much a Mario Kart gacha game, similar to Dokkan Battle, similar to Dragon Ball Legends, uh, Naruto Blazing, One Piece Treasure Cruise, so on and so forth. Um, I don't necessarily mind it because I do play a lot of gacha games, but I'm curious to see how they do this as far as like compensation goes and everything like that. Uh, how pay to win it is. Um, Okay, so we got 100 coins, and then we can get 5 rubies tomorrow. So every other day, it, it alternates between coins and rubies for the login bonus every day. Okay, so we unlock the Donkey Kong Cup here. Dino, Dino Jungle. Uh, we have Yoshi Cup. We have New York Tour Gift. Not really sure what that's all about. Oh, so, so we get the, these uh, as a gift for getting 30 stars. Okay, cool. Um... Koopa Troopa Cup, another gift. Uh, isn't this the cart I just got? I wonder if you get you get like extra boosts for getting dupes of carts and stuff. Hopefully, because I literally just just pulled that cart right there. Toad Cup, another gift. Peach Cup, uh, another gift. Bowser Cup, gift. Rybones Cup, gift. Uh, Toadette Cup. This cup is under construction. Please check back later. Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. I guess there's some, there's an issue with it or something like that. And, uh, yeah, a bunch of cups, man. A lot, a lot of stuff. Okay, so it looks like there's a good amount of content right from the start. This game, like I said, literally just came out earlier today. So it's good to see it already has this much content in it. Um, let's go to this menu here real quick. We have a shop, we have drivers, carts, gliders. Oh, multiplayer. Wait. Oh, available in a future version update. Okay, so guaranteed, guys, uh, confirmed officially, we do have multiplayer in this game, which means I will be doing streams officially when it, when when this uh, feature is made available, and uh, I can do some streams with you guys, and we can race together. That's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait for that. Okay, so multiplayer is officially going to be in this game. Uh, let's check out the news real quick, see uh, what's going on here. Mario Kart Tour begins. Pauline is here. Special offer available now. New York Tour... Uh, get more in-game rewards with the gold pass. Gold pass. Not sure if I like the sound of that. You can get drivers, shops, and gliders. Or <laughs> cars and gliders from the shop. Daily selects change daily, but I bet you could figure that one out on your own. Okay, so we have the New York set. $27.99. 45 rubies, which is a multi. Uh, you also get Mario. Okay. And you also get a star ticket, which I don't really know... You can exchange these for grand stars. Oh, okay. Interesting. $27.99. Not really planning to spend any money on this game at the moment. I'm not opposed to it if I play it a lot, but right now, since they're doing the first impressions, I'm going to stay away from that. Uh, we have a gold pass here. If you subscribe to the gold pass, you'll get some extra benefits. Plus, you'll be able to race at 200cc. Oh, no. Okay. I think I know the source of the bad reviews, guys. Alright, so let's see this gold path pass. See, it's um 
it's kind of deceiving in the beginning because it's $6.49, but then it says per month. It's a subscription service. So you're subscribing to this Mario Kart mobile game for the gold pass. You get uh, gold gifts by racing in tours. Okay, you get earned badges from gold challenges and you unlock 200cc races. That's the main thing. I don't know what these gold badges are for. I'm not really sure if like you can use them for something or if they're just to flex. Uh, either way, it's fine, but... The fact that they unlocked, they, they locked a game mode, or like a speed mode, I guess, um, behind the subscription service is kind of rough. Not gonna lie, guys, that's kind of rough. And I think a lot of people are not gonna take that very kindly. A lot of people are not gonna take that very kindly. Um, notes. The two-week trial. Oh, there's a two-week trial. It's only for first-time subscribers. When the trial ends and an ongoing basis thereafter you will automatically be charged for a one month term unless you cancel your subscription you will not be charged if you uh, cancel your subscription during the free trial period okay so at the very least there's a free trial so I'll, I'll sign up for that trial for sure um but still man after two weeks 649 per month not a lot but if you think about how the nintendo switch um well, like it's like a Nintendo online service. Actually, it's cheaper than this, as far as I can remember. I think the Nintendo online service is like five dollars per month. This is six forty nine per month. Uh, people are gonna have issues with that. People are definitely gonna take issue with that. I can see it now. I can see a lot of people's angry reviews. I didn't read them. I can see like a lot of those angry, like upset reviews. Those low ratings on the Google Play Store right now are because of this man. Because of the two hundred CC being locked behind the subscription. All right, man, you guys do you, you guys do you. And uh, that's it for the purchases. Oh, let's see how much these rubies cost. Um, $36.99 about thir for, for about a multi. A multi is 45 rubies. This is $36.99. That's Canadian, by the way. So it's gonna be different if you live in the States or somewhere else, right? But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. It's kind of standard for um, gotcha games like this, but I'm a little bit concerned that this game is going to become very much pay to win and uh, that's not something you want, especially from Mario Kart, right? So, I mean, they got to make their money somehow. Uh, I, I recognize, you know, it's a business, right? Um, if they make this game free, they got to have ways to monetize it. So I get that, but we'll see how, I guess, over time as this game continues to grow and they get updates and stuff, uh, we'll see how to play friendly this game is or do you, are you gonna just get wrecked by people that like buy all the new carts and all that stuff we'll have to see but uh in the meantime let's actually do some do some summons let's, let's try to get this pauline here yo pauline's my girl i gotta get her okay let's do three singles see if we get lucky here uh second summon come on got a glider okay parafoil increases your chance of getting a green shell all right, <laughs> not super excited. Um, oh, oh, okay. So it looks like we actually have some kind of guaranteed uh, mechanic here for getting like the character or the car or whatever you want. Um, as you can see, it says 98 remaining. So every time we do a single, we do a summon, this number goes down. And I guess in theory, if you get really unlucky, it will take you a maximum of 100 summons, 100 singles to pull the, the character or the car that you want. At the very least, you're guaranteed, so that's good. I mean, you still don't want to be doing that many summons, obviously, to get a certain, you know, character. But at the very least, there's only there's a limit to how much you can get shafted in this game, which I never mind, man. I, I always like games that have those mechanics. Um, come on, Pauline. Are you serious? Oh, we got a dupe? Okay, at least it leveled, or it's, um, oh no, it's only halfway leveled up. Okay. What are the chances we just got a dupe? Out of what, like three summons we did, we got a dupe of the freaking parafoil. Come on, okay. For doing that to me, you, you gotta give me, you gotta give me Pauline right here. Come on, give me Pauline. <laughs> Basically the same thing. Shy guy, Pauline, what's the difference, right? All right, we got a shy guy, double bomb bombs. Gives you two bomb bombs you can hurl at once, engulf your opponents in a mighty blast. That's kind of cool, that's kind of cool. All right, so we don't have Pauline. We didn't get Pauline, guys. I'm sure some of you guys got her first single or whatever, uh, as always is the case with these games. But um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take my shy guy. I'll take my pair of foils, I guess. Little bit concerned about this gold pass. Um, little bit concerned about this game being extremely pay to win. 
but uh, I guess time will tell. Time will tell. But so far, guys, as far as my first impressions go, I gotta say, um, they're not bad. They're not bad. Yeah, it, it definitely feels like a you know solid Mario Kart experience. Uh, it was very fun um, doing the races. It's gonna take me some time to get used to the controls and everything, sliding with my finger and all that stuff, but. Uh, aside from that, I'd say it's a uh, it's a good game. It's a good game, and uh, obviously, if you guys have been playing too, let me know in the comments down below what your impressions are as well. Um, and hopefully, uh, we get that multiplayer very soon because I do want to race some of you guys. But you know what? It, it, it's good that it's not out yet because it gives me some time to like practice with the um, you know swiping and everything and uh, not make a fool of myself when we eventually get to race each other. So. That's a good thing, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, today. And as always, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And I guess that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta say. As always, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. And, um,. Yeah, have fun playing Mario Kart on your phone. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.